Let's go a little deeper into managing materials in the Slate Material Editor, specifically how to access scene materials and how to deal with sample slots in Slate. I'll open Slate back up with the M key on the keyboard, and let's maximize that to get the most out of our capture area. I previously mentioned that what you see in this view panel is a sort of sandbox or staging area. And just because something's here in this view doesn't mean it's in the scene and vice versa. And if I want to clear this out so I can work on something else, I can just delete this node here in the view panel. Just select it and press the delete key. But that material is still in the scene. Let's investigate that. Here on the left side, we have the material map browser. And then we can collapse some of these rollouts here. This top level one allows us to create materials. Then we have one for maps that allows us to create maps and a bunch of other stuff. We can minimize those. And now we come down to scene materials and sample slots. Scene materials shows us a list of every material that exists on an object or in an environment, in this case here, in our scene. If we need to change up the properties of a material that's in the scene, it's an easy process. We can just select one of these and then drag it over into the view. We get a pop-up asking, do we want an instance or a copy? If we want to edit the material that actually already exists in the scene, then we need to choose instance. Click OK. We haven't made a duplicate of that scene material, what we're doing now is we're editing the material that is in the scene. I can double click on that, go into the base color once again, and play around with it. Maybe reduce the saturation, reduce the brightness down a bit, 0.02 or something like that, and make it a darker kind of teak color. Click OK, and that change has been made in the scene as well. We also have sample slots down here, and these work just the same way they do in the compact material editor. And we can actually expand them a little bit. Let's expand the window here and make this bigger. We have 24 sample slots available here. And once again, just because something is in the scene does not mean that it's in the sample slots and vice versa. If, for example, you are working on a material and you want to try out different variations of that, then you might want to, for example, store a temporary version in the sample slots. And whatever you have in the sample slot here will be saved in your scene file, even though it's not assigned to any object in the scene. The sample slots are very helpful because they give you the ability to store materials in the scene file, but not have them apply to any object within the scene. And we could create materials directly here if we wanted to, just like we did in the compact material editor, or we could take materials from this view section and then instance them or copy them into sample slots. And the way I do that is click and drag on the output circle here, hold down the mouse for a sec, and then drag over to one of the empty slots, or even to a slot that has something in it, and then release the mouse. And if you choose instance, then when you select that sample slot, you'll actually be affecting the material that's in the view. But if you choose copy here, then you're gonna make a unique new material that starts out with the same parameters as the one you've dragged over. I'm gonna to choose to do a copy here. And in having done that, I've erased the sample slot that was previously there. There was a white diffuse sample present there, but I have not erased it from the scene. You can see that white diffuse still exists in the scene because it's assigned to all of these objects. It's important to wrap your head around what's going on here. Scene materials lists materials that are actually placed onto objects. Sample slots list materials that are saved in your scene, but may or may not be assigned to objects in the scene. All right, cool. So now I could actually make a, maybe a variation at, on that dining table. I could take that and drag it back in again and then instance it. And now I've got another dining table. Double click on that, and I can call that dining table version two. So I've got version one, could double click on that, and I've got version two, and I could change the color here maybe, and make that something else, 
maybe more of a, an orange or saffron color. And it's in a sample slot, but it's not assigned to any object. Of course, if I wanted to, I could assign that to the object. And if I did that, I would be essentially removing this dining table version one from the scene, okay? But it would still exist here in this view. All right, so it's all kind of confusing, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take dining table two and drag that over to the table. And now that's assigned. We can see here now in scene materials, dining table version one is not assigned to an object, but it still exists here in this view panel. And now in this case, if I delete this node from the view panel, if I delete dining table two, just press the delete key, dining table two still exists on an object. It also coincidentally still exists in a sample slot. This one here only exists in this panel. It's not assigned to an object. It's not on a sample slot. If I select this one and press delete, now it's permanently removed from my scene. And if I save my scene, then that material is erased permanently. Again, if you want to preserve these different variations, or if you want to have materials that you're going to swap out on objects, then I recommend you take advantage of the sample slots. I'll undo that deletion with Control Z and drag this guy over onto a sample slot and choose instance. And now I can actually delete this node from the view panel. And when I save my scene, this material will still be in the scene. It's just not assigned to any object currently. All right, so that's a little bit complicated, but it is important to understand how all that works. Otherwise you may run into a situation where you delete a material that you actually needed to preserve.